Hi guys, hope you're all doing well and welcome back to our series of Azure Active Directory and in this video we are going to talk about self-service password reset portal configuration. Now if you're watching this series from the beginning in the last video we have discussed about the theoretical part related to self-service password reset whereas the agenda of this video will be knowing the portal configuration required for self-service password reset as a feature to be enabled for your enterprise. Then we'll talk about the user registration process, what all a user has to do so that he or she can use this feature. Then we'll talk about the AAD Connect password reset logs that will give you more insights that if any password reset is failing, what exactly the reason is, how you should check the respective information. Then we'll talk about on-prem account unlock process. That means what? that if I'm trying to sign in on a machine as a user and the bad password threshold has reached and my account is logged out in on-prem AD, how I can use this SSPR service to unlock my account. So let's start by knowing the portal configuration required for self-service password reset. So to begin with, the very first thing that we have to verify that whether all the users are licensed for this feature or not. So what I have done is I have created one group and for that group, I have assigned this EMS E5 license to school. And as I've explained this before as well, that it already had Azure AD Premium P1 and P2. So if you assign EMS E5 or even E3, then the users will be able to use this particular feature. And the group that I have created is named as license, which has all my users. So now let's move on with the settings that needs to be enabled for password reset. For that, you have to click on this option of password reset. The first option that we see here is actually to scope the users. That means even if the users have license, but you have not added them here, then they will not be able to use this feature. So what I have done is that instead of clicking all, what I have selected is my group, which has all the users for whom I have assigned EMS E5 license. The next option that we see here is authentication method. Now when the user will register themselves, how many methods you want them to provide so that they can reset the password. In my case, when a user will try to register themselves, they will get two options, email and mobile phone, SMS only, and they can choose any one of the option to reset the password. The next option is registration. Once you scope the user, then in the next sign-in attempt, whether you want the user to register themselves or they should get a prompt that your organization needs more information, click next to register your security information. This is the exact message which a user will get once you will click yes here. If you're not clicking on yes and you want to inform your user first regarding this change that you are implementing, then you can just send them an email and ask them to get registered on aka.ms forward slash SSPR setup. The next option that we get here is notification wherein the users should be notified whenever the password is reset or not, or whether notify all admin when admin reset their password. These are the two options that you can customize. The next option is customization, wherein there will be a help desk link which will be included, which can guide your users to how to use this particular feature. Or if for some reason, let's say SSPR is not working for any particular user, they can click on that link and get more information. Now, on-prem integration is the option which will let you know whether the password write back is enabled for your tenant or not. And this option that you see here, which says allow users to unlock account without resetting this password. If you enable this option, then your users can actually unlock the account which are logged out in your on-prem AD. So these are all the options that you have to customize from portal perspective so that you can enable this feature for your directory or for your tenant. Now, the next thing that we have to check is what all a user has to do. That means user registration process. This is the same deck which I have included in my previous video as well that the user can sign into aka.ms 
security setup info or aka.ms SSPR setup to get themselves registered to use this feature. Now what I'll do is I'll switch to my browser where I will be signing with one of my user who is licensed and I'm going to use the link which is aka.ms forward slash SSPR setup and I will register myself so that I can use this feature. So now I'm going to sign in with my username and password and then I should get the prompt to set up the security information that's required by my enterprise or by my company. Now the moment I will click on yes, I will be redirected to the page where I will be entering my mobile phone number as well as my alternate email. So the first option that we get here is authentication phone. If I'll click on set it up now, I have to select my region and then I have to type my contact number and then I have to verify my contact number as well. And in the same way, I will be doing this for email as well. So I'll verify both the details and then I'll resume the video. So now, as you can see, both the information has been verified. I have verified my contact number as well as my alternate email. And now what I'll do is I'll close this browser. I'll relaunch the same browser again, and then we'll try resetting the password for the same account, which is PIM at the redconceptswork.com. So now I have relaunched the browser and this time the link I'm going to use is aka.ms forward slash SSPR instead of SSPR setup. Now I'm going to type in my username and then I will be typing this caption information so that we can reset our password. So it's JV6H5 and then I'll click on next. Now, as I've said before, that as per the setting which I have done, I only need one particular information to be verified so that the user can reset the password. But if you want, you can have multiple options selected over there so that the user has to verify at least, let's say, two second factor authentication. Now, as you can see, the first option here, it says that whether I want to reset my password or if I already know my password, but I can't sign in. This actually means that your account will be unlocked if in case it is locked. So since I'm doing a password reset request, I'll click on next. And as you can see, now I'm getting two options to verify my identity. So what I'll do is I'll sign into my other email account. And then from there, I'll receive a OTP because I'm going to select this option so that we can go ahead and reset our password. So I'm going to type in my username and then I'm going to type my password. And this is the process which is pretty much similar, you know, to any of uh, the service which is more over related to SSPR or even if you use any of the other service apart from Microsoft that there is a process of verifying second factor as well. So I'll click on email now and I should get a verification code here, which I will be using so that I can reset my password. And as I can see that I have received this OTP, I'm going to type my OTP and then I'll click on next. Now I'm going to type a complex password and let's say if this service works as we are expecting. Now, the moment I'll click on finish, I should get a prompt here that your password has been successfully reset. If it doesn't work, I'll tell you the reason why. As you can see that I'm getting an option here which says this password does not meet the length, complexity, age or history of your requirements. Now, the very first reason for this could be because the policies which I have in my on-prem AD doesn't require the password to be saved, which I just tried creating. So what I'll do is I'll switch to my server where I have installed AAD Connect and let's check the logs that we are getting. So here it says that synchronization engine return an error 8023069, wherein a restriction is preventing this password to be changed to the current one specified. Now for that, the first step that you can do is you can open your active directory and go to that user object for which you were trying to reset the password. It was this in my case. 
and now if I click on profile or if I'll click on account you see this option is highlighted which says user cannot change password so if this option is highlighted then the users will not be able to change their password now I will minimize this and I will again open aka.ms forward slash sspr and I'll again try resetting my password and this time it should work because there is no restriction added I have added this uh, error so that I can show you one of the use case but if you have came across any of the use case you know which you find that I'm not covering in this please feel free to comment and we'll try to cover in our next video so again I'm going to click on email this will send one OTP to my other email address I'll copy it from here and then I'll choose the same password which I have added before and let's see if it works or not so I'm going to retype my new password and let's see if it works it should work now for sure because there is no restriction and this password reset should get completed now if I go back to my 80 and if I open event viewer once again and if I try to refresh as you can see that the password reset has been completed now we are left with one more use case and that is to get the account unlocked on-prem from SSPR portal and for that what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to one of my client machine wherein I have tried bad password attempt a lot of time so I'll try one more just to verify if my account is logged out or not and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch back to my 80 just to see if the respective account is logged out or not so if I'll click on this as you can see that this account is currently logged out now I'm going to switch to my browser where I will be signing with a different user account and let's see if we can unlock that particular account or not so again I'm going to use the same link which is https aka.ms forward slash sspr and now I'm going to use the other account which is enter at the rate concepts work.com to unlock my account instead of resetting the password so my username is enter at the rate concepts work.com and then we have d y 5 v w v x and I'll click on next so again I'll get uh, the same set of options you know if I have forgotten my password or I know my password but I just want to unlock my account I'll click on next and I'll again click on email since I'm using the same account for verification process and let's wait so that we can enter the OTP we have received one and now I'll again click on next now let's see what all options we get here and as you can see that your account has been unlocked now if I go back to my 80 once again and I'll cancel this and I'll refresh and I'll open my user object and you can see that the account has been unlocked as well as let's see if we can get any of the information in the event viewer as you can see that account unlock was success as this account has been successfully updated with an unlock request so now let's talk about a quick summary of what all we have discussed in this particular video we have discussed about the portal configuration that has to be done we have discussed about the user registration process we have also discussed about the aad connect logs that you can check and we have also discussed a use case where an on-prem account can get unlocked through sspr in the next video i will be specifically talking about password write back because there are a lot more configuration that has to be done so that your password reset can work as expected so if you guys have learned something new please feel free to subscribe thank you so much thanks for your time